Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Labrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, along with their respective deputies at Sakhir Palace. The guests presented His Majesty with the response of the two councils to His Majesty's speech, which was delivered in the opening ceremony of the third session of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty affirmed pride in the efforts of the legislative authority as it carries out its constitutional duties, which further enhance the kingdom's democratic and patriotic principles. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the two councils for their role in the process of comprehensive development through developing legislative work and cooperating with the executive authority in the interest of the kingdom and the progress and prosperity of its people. Ismashi discussed a number of matters of local interest, including the measures that are being implemented to contain the pandemic. He expressed his pride in the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard, along with all relevant parties. He then congratulated the Member of Parliament, Aisa al qadi and the Shura Member, Dalal al-Zayed, for winning the award of distinction at the Arab Interparliamentary Union. His Majesty expresses appreciation for these achievements by the people of Bahrain in various fields, which raises the profile of the kingdom internationally. For their part, the heads of the two councils expressed their thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's directives and his keen support for the development of legislative work, which is represent or represents its foundation. The representative the Representative Council's report opened with the condolences over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. It praised the appointment of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as Prime Minister and expressed its appreciation for His Majesty's support for the medical and security personnel, as well as his directives to build a hospital for contagious diseases and to establish the Hope Fund to support the youth. The Council also thanked the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Guard for their efforts and affirmed that His Majesty's speech represents a guide for the efforts of the upcoming period. The Shura Council's response expressed their pride in His Majesty's support as well as his vision for the future. It vowed to do its utmost to implement His Majesty's directives and express congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his appointment as Prime Minister. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received information from Mr. Ali bin Muhammad Al Ramahi, who presented a book titled This is Bahrain, which is a comparative study prepared by the ministry's news department. His Majesty expressed his appreciation of the book and praised the important information that reflect Bahrain's development in various areas. He commended the efforts made by the authors of the book that constitutes a reference chronicling the national endeavors to achieve growth and prosperity for the kingdom and its citizens. His his Majesty lauded the Ministry's role in promoting the media and communication sector, wishing the Ministry and the Ministry's personnel further success. Ramihi said that the book is a reflection of His Majesty the King's ideas in documenting national achievements and expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Majesty for his constant support and continuous guidance to develop the performance of the Ministry of Information in a way that enhances the Kingdom's comprehensive national development. The Minister pointed out that the book is the result of more than one year of research analysis and comparison between Bahrain and several countries based on international sources. Aramihi praised the efforts of the news department in preparing the book that documents Bahrain's outstanding achievements cited by several international important development indexes. And on the topic of the Kingdom of Bahrain's development in the legislative field, we are joined by Shura Council Member Ms. Dalal Al-Zayed. Welcome to the news, Ms. Dalal. Hello, yes. Mr. Al, congratulations first on, on winning the Arab Parliament Excellence Award. How do you value the support of His Majesty the King uh, to the legislative branch in the Kingdom of Bahrain? 
in the name of God, I highly great pride with uh, the blessing of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of winning the Arab uh, Parliamentary Award. As a Bahraini women, really, يعني, we are granted by our participation in public uh, affairs and all our political rights based and granted by the National Charter and Constitution and enhance uh, us to contribute in development as a worthy partner in national building. We are grateful for the unlimited support from His Majesty. And uh, at the same time, we are always aimed to building the state of institution and law. And uh, this is really, it was a very uh, happy occasion for me for, to meet His Majesty today. Um, you yourself have several contributions. Can you tell us about your contributions and Bahrain's parliamentary progress that led to this privilege? First of all, uh, let me just explain that we are, as a Bahraini woman, highly valued uh, of Her Highness Princess Sabita bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Uh, how we are, uh, she is supporting us for uh, for the advancement of women in all fields. Uh, actually, we are contributing the legislation uh, field, and uh, also we are needed uh, to enhance our role as a parliamentarian uh, women. Uh, we are feeling that it is our role and national responsibility, the duty to serve our country and raising the name of Bahrain at the national and regional and international levels. So uh, this is our uh, uh, really role as a woman and what we are granted with our constitution, uh, how we are participating in the parliament, uh, and uh, this is uh, what we are uh, really gain today, and uh, this award is mean a lot of, uh, for me, and inshallah, I wish that we are always doing the best for our country. That's right. Thank you very much. That was Shura Council Member Ms. Dalal Zaid, and thank you for being with us. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa awarded the winners and participants in the endurance race, which was held on March 17th until the 12th in the Bahrain Endurance Village. His Highness affirmed the importance of developing this Arab sport in the kingdom in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as it represents an authentic part of the Arab heritage. He said that the sport is experiencing progress and this requires further efforts to safeguard the achievements in this field on all levels and in all aspects which provide the participants with further technical experience. His Highness expresses appreciation for the efforts of the participants who have been awarded in order to further encourage them to continue to develop their stables and to ensure that future races will be more competitive, technical and exciting. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has hailed the victory of Paris Football Club. His Highness added that victorious Bahrain has become a well-known brand in the second division of French football through the Paris FC. Praising the team's skills and performance, Paris FC beat Dunkirk at 1-0 thanks to Ali Abdi. His Highness wished the team success in its upcoming matches. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi ibn Abdullah Zainal, and a number of representatives presented His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the report of their reply to the Royal Speech Committee, which His Majesty delivered during the opening of the third session of the fifth legislative term. Zainal affirmed that the directors of His Majesty the King formed a solid foundation for comprehensive development in various fields, as well as civilizational and sustainable progress. She expressed the Council's pride in the Royal support for the legislative authorities' work and its keenness on reform and progress for the interests of the country and its people and the development of the legislative and supervisory system according to unprecedented modern principles that contributed to rising the kingdom's status regionally and internationally. Zainal added that His Majesty's speeches during the opening of the session are an incentive for further work based on the insightful royal vision. She hailed the effective and continuous cooperation with the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the coordination and modern method in joint work based on the inclusive national vision and by Team Bahrain, who made many successes and achievements, especially during the corona pandemic. 
The Representatives Council held its 22nd meeting yesterday under the chairmanship of Speaker Fauzi Zainal. Zainal underscored the pivotal role of Saudi Arabia and its policies of modernization in efforts in bolstering regional security and stability and its promotion of global economy. The Council issued a statement expressing its full support to Saudi Arabia, firmly denouncing all acts that target the sovereignty of the brotherly Saudi Arabia. The Council then discussed and approved Law 32 of the year 2020 concerning registration registration, safety and control rules for small vessels. The Council also approved the state's general budget draft for the fiscal years 2021 and 2022. For his part, the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa established solid foundations for advanced legislative work in the kingdom. He expressed appreciation for the support of His Majesty for the legislative authority and said that he is honored to have delivered the report on the Shura Committee for responding to His Majesty's the King's speech to him. He affirmed that the speech established the path towards progress and comprehensive development for the kingdom, and that the Shura Council will continue to cooperate with the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty and the people. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met remotely with the editors in chief of local newspapers, where he briefed them on the most important clauses of the state's general budget draft for the fiscal years 2021 2022, as well as the major updates of the proposal in light of the recommendations of the executive and legislative authorities. He underscored and commended the constructive cooperation between the two authorities. The finance minister affirmed that the state's general budget draft was based on principles and foundations that put the interests of citizens first. Despite the challenges and exceptional circumstances the kingdom and the world face in light of the coronavirus pandemic and the subsequent global drop in oil prices, he noted that the kingdom continues to implement numerous plans and development programs upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The minister stated that the amendment of the general budget has prioritized the interests of citizens by adding the social welfare item and continuing to provide electricity and water subsidy for citizens at their primary residents. He noted that the work continues in order to improve the quality of government services and increase its competency in all sectors as well as reduce the government's administrative expenditure. The minister also noted the current stage requires increasing national efforts and working efficiently as Team Bahrain, which represents a model to continue progress for the interests of the country and its people. He hailed the vital role of local newspapers as main partners in the comprehensive developmental march led by His Majesty the King. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy today discussed the 2021-2022 state budget in the National Parliament, gaining the approval of the Council of Representatives. Upon the submission, the Ministry highlighted the government's unprecedented efforts to mitigate the effects of lower oil prices and the ongoing impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, cross-government success and tightly controlled recurrent government expenditure, excluding emergency spend, was emphasized. The Ministry also emphasized the government unwavering commitment to the physical balance program's targets. Past reforms implemented under the program include a government-wide spending review, the creation of spending efficiency task forces, the rollout of a voluntary retirement scheme for public sector workers, and the implementation of VAT. The ministry underlined that strong economic growth projects demonstrated Bahrain's underlying competitiveness and strong economic fundamentals, which will provide the foundations for physical recovery in the near and medium terms, announcing the state budget, the ministry outlined the new measures taken, which include the creation of a revenue task force to support the government's drive to increase non-oil revenues and encourage partnerships with the private sector in the provision of government services, the doubling of Mumtalaqat's contribution to government revenues, and increasing the size of the project's budget. A virtual forum focusing on the impact of the novel coronavirus on the world order has concluded. The ISA Cultural Center, the ICC, hosted the forum, which was held remotely in cooperation with the General Secretariat of the Alliance of Arab Thought and Cultural Centers. During his keynote speech, the advisor of His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil al hamar presented an optimistic view of the aftermath of the new corona pandemic. He also underscored the importance of international cooperation to overcome the repercussions of the virus. 
For his part, ICC Board of Trustees Deputy Chairman Executive Director Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa praised the humanitarian efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to combat the pandemic which made the kingdom a model to be emulated around the world. He also reviewed with the participants the history of pandemics, adding that COVID-19 is considered one of the most worst pandemics that has affected humanity. The Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research Director General Jamal Aswedi underscored the importance of the forum in light of the current exceptional circumstances. The Ministry of Housing affirmed that the East Sitra Town project is witnessing an accelerated implementation since the beginning of the construction and infrastructure work in December. The Ministry is implementing the project in partnership with a major Chinese contracting company in light of its endeavors to fulfill the Royal Order of His Majesty the King of constructing 40,000 housing units and the Order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of constructing over 3,000 housing units in the fifth new housing town in three stages at a total cost of 260 60 million Bahraini dinars. The ministry stated that since the beginning of construction work, it has made considerable progress in uh, preparing the first stage of the project, which consists of constructing over 1,000 housing units. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,568 1, had taken the vaccine yesterday, bringing the total number of vaccinated individuals to 302,671. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,531 with 592 recoveries and 492 registered new cases and two deaths. 202 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 280 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.